So now we will see the chapter number two that is formatting a report. So here when you create a report it should match your corporate branding so that it should make more appeal and should be more meaningful with your corporate branding. So to meet such re uh, requirement you, uh, you will need to change the visual properties of certain report elements like color, font, font size and many other things. Then we can also customize the values like dates, numbers, paper, number format, currencies and many more things which we are going to cover in this exercise. We will also change some new styles. We will apply the new styles to certain report elements such as their headers, titles. We, what we are going to cover here is we are also going to cover how to hide certain element in certain conditions like if an image is uh, displayed in a PDF, it should not be displayed in a web browser. Then we can re format the report element based on some conditions like uh, certain highlight rules and if a condition matches then a different value should be displayed. We are also going to format content uh, and elements using the property values like property editor and the properties which uh, we have seen in our last chapter. So as you can see that again in here you have the property editing tools so from where you can change the certain properties like visibility then the uh, size, font, values, colors and many of the things can be controlled through this property editor. So whatever the changes you make in property editor will reflect in your output and it will affect your output. So you have to be very careful while doing any changes to the property editor. So in formatting what we are going to learn is we are going to learn how to lay out the report, how to perform the table binding, adding new rows, adding different uh, report elements, formatting color, um, adding and resizing image or text to a table, how to merge the cells, how to use HTML tags using conditions, uh, and the uh, using of expression builders, controlling the visibility and also how to uh, create and apply the new styles and here is going to be our final output for exercise number 2. So this is going to be uh, the web viewer output and this is going to be our PDF output. So if we talk about the expressions, then expressions are the statement that produces a value. So based on expression, you can uh, create certain conditions. So like it can contain uh, various operators, values, fields, functions, variables. So by default, BERT uses the JavaScript expressions. So here is the list of sample of the expressions. So uh, in the first, you can see that it's mentioned that uh, combined literal text in the field. So one is the static text and one employee number we are fetching from the data. Now there is again an uh, expression combined fields where both the data are coming from the data, uh, your database. Here you are performing the calculation. So one is that uh, data coming from your database you are multiplying with a static value. So th then again you have a uh, function, you are applying a function to a particular field, then you are using the word function with a field, then you have the multi-line expressions. One thing we need to uh, understand about the expression that they are the case sensitive, multi-line expressions are that and comments. So like when you are commenting out, you can use the given tags. Operators are different kind of operators available as per your uh, complexity. So now there are various categories of the operators. So one is the assignment operator. So where you will see the all the single operators. 
when the operator are dual then they are actually a comparison it will perform the comparison task you have the computational uh, operators you have logical operators and you will have to be very sure while using these operators because if you are using a single operator then it will work as assignment and if you are using it, uh, the dual operator then it is going to be uh, used as a comparison so using the expression for builder is going to be like this where you will click on expression builder icon with e act fx this will take you to this expression builder screen so here in this screen you have uh, various categories available like available column endings report parameters native javascript functions word functions and operators so based on your selection into the category you will get the sub category and uh, after selecting the sub category you will get all the uh, data fields available into that sub category select the uh, field which you want by double clicking it and you will see that it will be reflected in your uh, expression editor here's the list of various operators which you can use or you can use other operators as well so when i talk about the column binding so report elements can access data only through the column bindings so uh, available column bindings displays the column bindings that are available to the current report elements so by default when uh, so there has to be some column binding between the data so let's perform this in our exercise so now let's begin with our exercise number 2 which says about the report formatting so what we are going to do is first we'll create a new report so right click select this word training folder that is your main project right click go to new and we will create a new report and here we will name it as employees rpt design and click finish now go to data explorer and select this data source and you right click this you will create a new data source select classic model science sample data set and let's call it as um, classic models hit next and finish so now we have created a data source we will create a new data set similar way click right click on data set create new data set and we will call this data set as employee ds next so to write this query um, you already have the resources available with you which we have provided with the training material so you go to the data uh, sql you can copy the query in employee ds paste this click on finish so you will get this all the output columns for the given query click on preview results and you will be able to see the uh, final output of this ds hit okay so now we have created a data uh, report in that report we have created a particular uh, data source using the classic models and we have called it as classic models and we also created a data set now what we are going to do is 
we will create a word report go to the palette section and from this uh, palette section go to scroll down and you will find a table over here so simply drag and drop this table to the layout as per the manuals number of columns will be 4 and number of details will keep it as default that is 1 next in data set uh, we will not select anything right now hit finish now you will notice that a uh, blank table has been appeared into our layout section and if you'll see into this xml source the xml code has also been written so whatever we do uh, within the layout it generates the xml code automatically now go to data explorer so collapse this employee ds and select this employee number and put it into the first column of the detail row so when you do this you will notice the header row also gets updated with the same name as the uh, detail row now same way you will do it for the others as well we will use first name in the second column followed by last name and email so you will notice that we have a whatever we did in our detailed row automatically according to the values or the columns uh, our header row has also been but updated now select all the labels in the header row using shift plus click and you will notice whatever we have selected we have actually selected the labels and you can see this in the property editor for label so what we are going to do is let's scroll it up so now as per the manual what we are going to do this is we will align this to the left and you will notice everything has been aligned to the left so now what we are going to do is we will uh, hover it over the table and we'll select the table so you can see that property editor says the table now go to binding tab now what we are going to do is we are going to review all the tabs so this email is with string and all this integer than string so this way you can see uh, whether your data has been defined properly or not now let's preview this in web viewer and here we got the final output of the report now let's go back to our next so now we will create a report header so come to this layout select the table and here click on this guideline of the table header row and right click this select insert row above now we have got a one new row above this uh, header row and which is named as the header row now so now what we will do is we will insert a image in this uh, report so we will go to the palette we will drag this image and we'll put into this header row now select the embedded image so we have selected the embedded image we'll click on the add image select the image logo and you will see that a logo will appear over here and we'll click on the insert now to resize this you will select the image 
and with using this guidelines of the image we will resize this so that it can fit the cell so here we have adjusted the size now in the next uh, step what we are going to do is we will insert text element in the third and the fourth column of the header row so first we will uh, select the third and the fourth column and we will merge them now it is merged so what we will do is from palette we will drag and drop the grid element into this merged cell and uh, in the number of grid number of columns we will mention one and uh, the number of rows as well one say ok and you will notice the grid has been inserted here so now uh, from palette we will use the text text component and we will drop this into the first row of the grid we will drop it in the grid so here we will select the html in text box we will write 64 sulfur springs br Doctor Caesar City zero six four one zero. That okay, and you will see that it has updated into our grid. Now let's run the report. And you will see that we have got the output where we have updated the image and as well as, well as the address. Now let's go back to our Eclipse. So here what we do, do is we will format this report and we will add a title to it. Now click on the table and again into this table header so see, you can see that this is the table detail and this is the table header so we will select this and we will insert a row about this now here we will select all the cells of this header row and we will merge them now you can see that it has merged and to create a title to your report under the palettes drag and drop the label to the uh, merge cells so you will notice that label has been added and type employee list so your label will look like the, this your uh, name of the label will be updated as the employee list So when you see that the employee list is selected and this property added a label, what we are going to do is let's take it a little up. And now in this we will do a little bit of uh, formatting. Uh, size as extra large. We'll make it bold and let's align it to the center. Now we will review this report so now you can see that employee list label has been added with the uh, added formatting now go back 
let's come back to our report layout and here we'll create a new style so again we'll click on this table to activate the table guidelines so now we will add a style to this uh, right click add a new style we'll name it as column header select font properties uh, size to medium and weight to the not bold come to background select gray you can also select this color from the color palettes or you can select from the uh, drop down go to text block and set your text element to left now select ok and you will see that it has got updated in your layout template now um, here uh, what we are going to do is so the table again and we'll right click the level element and we'll add, go to the new style and name it as title now select the font select the color as blue and uh, size to large weight bold set ok now let's run the report so this time you will notice that in this report you will see the updated uh, style which we recently added to this report let's come back to our eclipse now we will adjust the space between the report elements in this task um, add a new row between the table header row that contains the employee list so now again select this table add here and insert a new row but this time it will be below so between this table and the employee list table we have added one uh, more row now we will select this entire new row and in property editor we we'll go to this properties tab and under the properties tab in general we will set the height to 0 0.2 inches let's run this report now So now you will notice that we have added a space between the table and the employee list label. Now we will uh, add a new uh, style. So like we are going to use alternate colors for the data rows. So what we are going to do is we will select the detail row as it is table detail row in property editor row what we are going to do is we will go to the highlight step in highlights we will click on add so here we will see that a new dialog box has opened so in condition we will click on the expression builder now select the available column binding select the table and in table double click on the row number so that it will be added to your query section now we'll append two so now what will happen is this expression will, will return the values that every odd uh, so with this expression we will distinguish the odd and even uh, row numbers hit ok and now in condition let's choose not equal to will type 0 now in format changes what we are going to do is we will change the 
background color and in here we will select the silver okay now let's click okay and again we will run this report so now you will notice that we have a color code or color theme added to our uh, even rows let's go back to our uh, report now what we are going to do is we will hide a particular section or particular object thing in a particular file format so here we are going to hide this report header in pdf only so let's select the header row so we have selected the header row go to the property editor we can see that this is the property editor row I will go to the properties under the properties we will select the visibility and select on the hide element select for specific outputs and here let's we will select all the formats except the pdf so here we are hiding this uh, header in all the file formats except the pdf now we will run this report in web browser so you will notice that there is no header there is no image or logo anything now again come back here and let's run this report in pdf And you will see that we have this logo image and this header row into the PDF file format. So, so this way we have completed our exercise number two.